Hi guys, thought I'd um, just give you another very quick update with uh, my Whisper project that I've, uh, I've built here. Um, since the last video um, I discovered I had a couple of problems uh, with the actual unit. Um, it wasn't the unit itself, it was me. I'd wired up um, a couple of the connectors to the GPS module run the wrong way and um, I indeed found that uh, the module was giving me a, a heartbeat uh, just here but in fact it wasn't the heartbeat, it was uh, responding to the um, serial data coming back from the GPS unit and uh, try as I might I could not get the GPS unit to play ball um, quick uh, quick look around on the uh, on the Yahoo support group and, uh, and indeed um, I needed to do a couple of extra modifications to the GPS module in order to get it to play ball um, with, with the unit um, it needed to be further away from the U3. It also needed to be decoupled at the GPS unit and uh, also required a 10k pull up resistor. Anyway, I've done those modifications to the GPS unit and, uh, and as you can see now, I've got a very good heartbeat from the unit here. It's transmitting, it's got clock data from the um, from the, the, the GPS signals, it's got a 3DS lock so uh, generally speaking it's quite good. Um, the propagation for this little unit, I've only run the, the two transistors as we you get with the kit so it works out to be just over 280 milliwatts output um, and so far the propagation has been absolutely fantastic um, it's contacted Brazil, the States, New Zealand, Australia um, and all around Europe um, including Israel as well but uh, interesting enough I still cannot get through to South Africa try as I might it seems to be a, a black spot for me and I, I just don't know why but uh, let's have a look at the GPS unit anyway and uh, and I'll show you exactly what, what I've done okay well I hope you can see it quite clearly now I'm having to hold it in place because the cable is wanting to pull it back but uh, here we've got the GPS unit just here um, and I've connected the the four the four connections that you need to make this thing work 3.3 volt ground the serial data and the PPS signal which is the pit per second I think is what it stands for and, uh, and what I've done is I've decoupled it from the 3.3 volt down to ground and then I've put a pull-up resistor of 10k between the 3.3 volt rail and the TX serial data and uh, that just makes the the signal behave in a way that the U3 unit can understand. Um, I don't fully understand pull-up resistors, I'll be honest with you, but from what I can see is it turns it from a logical 0-1 uh, signal to, um, to a, almost an open and closed circuit. I, I think that's how it works, but uh, I, could be, I could be very wrong. And then all I've done is I've mounted it all on a bit of Vero and put a plug on it. I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to completely conceal this unit um, I'm going to uh, wrap it around in, in a heat shrink, a self-adhesive heat shrink, um, so this thin this will be water resistant, uh, but more importantly weatherproof, so it can go outside for a, a stronger signal. 